right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Sergio Oliva Jr. in this video. To me, Sergio Oliva Jr. was the standout of this show. We saw all these crazy pictures of Sergio leading up to the 2020 Arnold Classic, um, and then suddenly everybody was talking about Sergio as being in the conversation for the top six because he did look to have made such drama dramatic improvements over the past year and a half that he's taken off of competing. And I think Sergio looked phenomenal here. He seemed to have put on a lot of size. His conditioning was fantastic. Um, and he just overall had a really good showing. Probably the best showing, I think, in terms of the most improved bodybuilder of the show. You almost have to give that to Sergio. Now, Sergio wound up in fifth place at this competition, which I think is fantastic. Um, but the thing that I wanted to get to in this video is that Sergio actually won the Best Poser Award. Um, and that's the clip that I want to show you in this video because Sergio Oliva Jr. Um, had a great emotional moment with Arnold Schwarzenegger on stage when Arnold presented him with this award. Um, they had a great little dialogue between the two of them. As you guys might know, Sergio Oliva Jr.'s father, Sergio Oliva Sr., I believe was the last person to beat Arnold Schwarzenegger and one of the only bodybuilders to ever beat Arnold Schwarzenegger um, in Arnold's career um, as a pro. Now, unfortunately, Sergio Sr. passed away back in 2012. So he couldn't be here you know, to see this moment for Sergio. And to me, honestly, this little interaction between Sergio and Arnold was my favorite moment of the entire Arnold Classic. I think you guys, you know, you know I'm a big bodybuilding history fan. I love the history of the sport. Um, I think it's a super fascinating history. Um, and Sergio Oliva Sr. plays a massive role in that. And the fact that his son is competing at Arnold's show, Arnold being a bodybuilder who was Sergio Sr.'s biggest rival during his career, um, I think is a landmark moment in bodybuilding history. So without further ado, I want to show you guys this clip um, of Sergio Jr. interacting with Arnold Schwarzenegger after receiving the most muscular or best poser award rather at the 2020 Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio. And make sure you leave a like on this video. And without further ado, here is the video. Joining him is Arnold champion and Olympia ch champion, Brandon Curry. So tell me, let's put this down here. You hold this. Thank you for your help. This is like, this is unbelievable, let me tell you. To, uh, in Columbus, 50 years ago, I was posing here with your dad in Columbus, Ohio. I mean, this is like, and now today, to see his son looking so extraordinary. I mean, it's too bad that your father passed away way, way too early. But if he would see this picture, he would be laughing and he would be smiling and he would be the happiest guy in the world. So I just want you to know, on his behalf, I can tell you, and on my behalf, how proud we are of you. Unbelievable. You're fantastic, you're posing. Your posing was extraordinary. Man, you made some really good and slick moves here today. I can tell you, you didn't win this trophy for nothing. So just tell me, how much did you get, how much did you concentrate on posing and how much time did you spend on this routine every day? Um, I feel like my whole life, I feel like all I've been doing is uh, studying tape and, and I, I've been born in this sport. I tell people all the time that bodybuilding is different for me. It's, it's what I do, but it's also why I'm alive. My parents were both pros. They met because of the sport of bodybuilding. And now here I am. And it, I feel like I've been waiting for this my whole life and now I don't even know what to say. Me and my friends over there, we've been, we've been driving to this show for a long time, every year. I've driven here every year on my own from Chicago, from Florida, from North Carolina. <laughs> just to come watch the show and, and, and it's really for the real fans. And, and I wanted to say everyone here tonight is a true fan of bodybuilding. 
with everything that happened this weekend and, 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 and the catastrophes, it really showed us the difference between the fitness industry and the bodybuilding industry. And, and we, are, we are one and we are strong and we will always take care of each other. And this is why I do it. I do it for the real fans. And, and, I, and I, don't, I don't expect anyone to be as crazy as I am studying tape and, and looking at, at old film. But I think we could all step up the posing in general uh, across the board. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's lagging. And I think there's a, a bit of class that's missing from uh, bodybuilding that we can step up as a whole. And there is a bunch of us that are putting our craft into it. And I want to thank the Lorimers for even giving us a platform to even present that. Uh, I, I'm so lucky to be a, a part of this and, and to be able to be doing this with you. Uh, I, I'm even alive with the best, I feel like the best poser ever, and that's Terrence Ruffin. I think he is the, I think he's the Muhammad Makawi of my generation, and I think that we can all be better on, on, on different levels and, and help the sport grow. Uh, but I, I wanted to ask you something. I, I, know the, I know the rule is you never take the mic from you, but like you said, my dad, he would be proud. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he would be thinking. I don't know what he would be saying, but I will tell you this. I know that if I got you to hit the victory pose right now, he would love that. Can I take it? You hit it? The victory pose? Can you hit the victory pose? Which one? The victory I, pose. I, I had so many victory poses. Uh, my dad's victory pose. Oh, your dad's victory pose. <laughs> You mean the overhead pose? Uh, no, I, have, I want you to do the, the victory pose. No, Come I'll on do now. Yours and you do my dad's. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Absolutely. Good luck with everything. I hope that you come back and you come back until you win this because you're really unbelievable. You're in unbelievable shape. So I wish you the best of luck in the future, okay? Let's give him a big hand. Come on. Thank you, Arnold. Thank you, Sergio. All right, Bob Chick back with Aaron Singerman and Luke Sandow are continuing coverage now, here at the Arnold 2020. You just really saw a special. great moment on Before stage.